What is up guys? So this is Kiro Kristalis and in this video we're basically covering sandbox gameplay. Now for those that are unaware of what the sandbox is, it's basically one of the first fully functioning, quote unquote fully, it's still in the alpha stage, functioning metaverse games out there that is tokenized and has a crypto application added to it. So the first one uh, is essentially Decentraland, right? Then there's another one and then there's Sandbox. Now the reason as to why I've been so inclined to test out Sandbox is because there isn't really a lot of gameplay for it. And the gameplay that I've been able to pull out, right, is from the game maker. And this is pre-alpha. So the alpha is being launched on November 20th. But this is basically me creating my own map, right? Uh, showcasing the game maker, playing a couple of scenarios and playing somebody else's game as well. So people can create their games on the game maker, right? Uh, create their own quests, create their own scenarios, uh, their own wars, etc. And uh, test them out as well, so play them. So it's disconnected from the metaverse, it's offline, it's not connected. And I don't actually know if you can fully connect it, but um, this one was disconnected. All in all, I'm hyped about uh, what's gonna happen with the sandbox itself, uh, especially once it leaves the alpha and it becomes like there's a full game release. I feel a lot better playing this as opposed to playing Decentraland. But again, as I mentioned in the game, Decentraland is a browser based game, so you can't really judge it that much. Whereas this is a downloadable game, so you have to download it to play. Uh, it's fluid, it, it, it looks really good, it reminds me a bit of Minecraft. But uh, yeah, uh, make sure to like, subscribe, and enjoy. So um, talking about the sandbox, this is basically the alpha editor and to get to this, right, uh, you basically need to download, uh, you need to download this, which is basically the alpha editor and to download it, uh, you need to head over to their website, right, it's right here, so you need to download the game maker. Uh, once you click on download, uh, this basically gives you access to this, which is the sandbox maker, right, and here uh, what you're able to do is you're essentially able to create just custom made maps of whatever you want. Honestly, just from a feel and texture perspective, it reminds me a little bit of Minecraft, like it does have that Minecraft feel to it. Just from first, from a first view and first impression, it's fucking kick-ass, like I, I, this, this is, like pretty good, like well made, etc. Like this definitely has potential. If you guys have seen my Decentraland video where I was just playing on Decentraland, testing the gameplay, etc. I really can't say I feel the same way that I feel right now with uh, the sandbox itself. Now, just to guide you over the gameplay itself, and just to also uh, clarify what I've been saying right now, this is a desktop running game that's currently running on a Windows operating system, right? Decentraland is a browser-based game, so it, it makes sense as to why Decentraland would lag so much and why the graphics would be of a certain kind, etc. But the sandbox uh, is something that runs on Windows and is currently running on like a GTX 1650 with like no problem whatsoever. It's fluid, it's kick-ass, it has like a nice feel to it as well. Um, this is again the editor and this is basically where you can build certain maps etc if you want to add anything right now we're quote unquote building the clouds uh, but if you want to add anything let's say we want to add a clay ball right you just select it and then add it etc and this will be reflected directly in the gameplay itself uh, then if we want to add a car right on the cloud i don't know if we can add a car sideways i don't know what the the, the physics of the game are um but if we want to add a car right here, you can add it. Uh, if you want to add, let's say, what else is there? Category. Uh, this is just the uh, the way to select whatever you want to add. I think we can add like a school on a cloud, maybe, quite possibly. So you can go to Marketplace to purchase stuff for your map as well. Uh, let's remove that. And then let's remove bow. Let's add a oak tree stump right there. And then let's add a wood elf. And the behavior is one of the key things whenever you're adding anything directly into the game itself because that basically tells you if they're going to attack you, if they're going to fight for you, etc. So are the attributes, though I haven't really uh, understood how to use those properties entity, uh, but I think they're editable, uh, actually. So if we just add the wooden elf here, and then if we 
click so this is like the first 60 minutes that I've spent on this so I might be a little bit uh, might be a little bit like all over the place so wood elf click on him are these editable no collisions no collisions collisions plus gravity uh, so you're basically able to adjust the the character fully uh, lower him uh, put him higher though I don't think that's uh, that's a good thing and then behavior melee enemy so you can choose the actual behavior right here farmer who walks and let's make him a farmer I guess and then you can select the, the field uh, upon which he's gonna farm or whatever a weird person that walks around and attacks hostile things So these are the different behaviors basically predator hostile that walks until it is hungry in which in case it chases you and friendly things, okay um, So if we close this and just make this guy a bird can we make him a bird? I want to see if it works if we make him a bird So let's click on play super quick. I don't want to see if he's gonna start flying around Made the elf a bird. <laughs> the, like this is something. Like I feel a lot more confident with this than Decentraland, and I'll be showcasing something really important, which is the actual Google Trends analytics of Decentraland versus Splinterlands, which isn't a metaverse. It's still a gamified version of uh, tokenized version of Hearthstone. Um, in comparison to this as well, and I'm I'm like. I like this, honestly. I don't want to say I'm bullish. I don't want to say whatever, but like this is, this is pretty kick ass. Um, so let's head back down now. As per the controls of the builder itself, like it, it's pretty straightforward. Um, using the numpad to basically uh, just move around. But I want to edit the behavior of the elves that I have right here, if I can, and I want to make them attack the enemies. So not melee. It should be. A magic point i just want to cause a war basically uh melee enemy a bad person that attacks you if it gets too close let's try that then this one let's make him a message repeater that can be used to trigger events citizen a classic person who walks around so these are the different types of behaviors basically uh category interactives platforms friendly let's see what there is for friendly healer who eats plants and frees hostile things has injured you let's make this guy a citizen and this is basically i think the the field uh through which they're able to uh, interact in so then again behavior can i make this guy a door like uh, of course it's still an alpha so there's gonna be a couple of glitches hostile thing that works until it is hungry in which case it chases you in friendly things and then this guy let's also make him a melee enemy and then this guy let's make him so again this is just the behaviors let's make him a can i make him a button um or an asset spawner that does it or whenever you ask it to let's make it an asset spawner and then visible false true spawn offset asset to spawn so let's make him spawn a adventurer jet and then behavior of the adventurer jet will make him a citizen i uh, use preset no and then components i just want to see what that is uh climbable Defeat allows to define drop health rarity virtual uh, effects S Allows to display a text balloon so speaker and then victory not sure on what the components are and the logic associated to it, but uh, pretty interesting nonetheless Generally speaking so like again uh, after playing uh, Decentraland yesterday and then playing this as well and knowing that both are metaverse focused this is like the third as far as i know in terms of the top crypto metaverse ranks but th just from playing it like this is the most kick ass that i've seen so far so i'm gonna um i'm gonna play it now see what's up so again we're using the game maker and then we're playing out a couple of scenarios then i'll play out a couple of other scenarios that were already pre-built and then i'll just showcase the back-end stats the google trends the conversations that are happening on reddit the community etc and let you formulate your own decision with regards to whether it's worth it or not but from a uh initial feel stat like from just the first 60 minutes on the game maker and the game itself i have to say it's kick-ass like i i definitely see potential in this both from a token aspect and just from a token usability and just from a game aspect like it, it's it's fluid to say the least so let's play i hope they don't copyright me because of the music though 
um let's go back on so to edit the music you gotta go on rules camera welcoming quests you can add quests victory quest completed the the logic of the game itself we go on global parameters uh select your avatar avatar model avatar name so ambience let's change it to just wild and then go change it to night select lighting desert perfect play Let's rock. Let's see what happens now. Okay. So the guy's still birding. The car is actually fixed on the cloud. And then if we jump down, I want to see what the elves are currently doing right now. Seems like they're actually attacking shit. But is it causing like an all-out war? I don't know. Pretty confusing. Because uh, I've added too much too fast. And then, just to show the game mechanics, if you want to attack something, you essentially just left click. And there's uh, different levels of attacking. So the so-called haymaker, you just hold press and then let go. And he has to charge in order to do that. So again, hold press and then done. And it's a ranged attack as well. And then for just quick attacks, you just essentially just rape the left click button. Um, and these guys aren't approaching right now. But still, like, it's an alpha. Like, it's slick. And then if you approach the end of the map, right, you get the option of e-travel. And then it says that you need to publish your experience on a land to connect it to the metaverse. Which means that you should, in essence, be able to travel from land to land, right? And there should be a multiplayer aspect to it as well. So you should be able to interact with others on a certain land complete quests together etc what is this okay and then like I'm, I'm i'm excited for like what they're gonna do and their open alpha uh just the the latest additions that they're adding to it is now being released on the 29th of november if i'm not mistaken i'm gonna register to it just to see what uh, they release and you can participate by registering by buying an alpha pass uh on OpenSea. Some people are going to receive it and they're going to resell it on OpenSea on the 29th. So you can buy it from there. Or, again, you just register and if you're lucky enough, you gain it. And Yeah, cool stuff. Like, definitely cool stuff. Then, if you want to close this, I have to press tab to close it. And if we head back to the main menu and just open a... Uh, if we open a quest or... If we open something that's already been pre-built by somebody before, you just head over to Drafts Gallery. A starting replica of the Colosseum Arena. These are just existing scenarios that have already been built and uploaded by other people. Uh, have fun with Wolf. <laughs> Test game. Really reminds me of Minecraft, I swear. Even the background music, like it's... A cure for cancer is ready for testing. I'm not sure what this is. Uh, drive around and take out the zombie. Zero stars. Let's test this out. Play. Um... So yeah, the token for this project is Sand. Right now, I think it's trading either at 3 or 5. I'm not sure. I think Meta is trading. M not Meta. Um, Mana of the Central Land is trading at 3. And Sand is trading at 5, if I'm not mistaken. But like Sand deserves it. Like if, uh, like if the Central Land's Mana is trading at like that price, then this definitely deserves it. But again, just to clarify the point that I said previously, the Central Land is a browser game. And I feel like for them to actually create a like an awesome game experience they will have to make a downloadable uh version of it so a version that you can download windows os or anything of that sort let's see this game super quick and then after this quest we'll basically start discussing the uh the backend stats did it crash okay all right so you can actually drive a car here interesting um so okay fine Three agents sent out. You've been dropped in the red zone with an upgraded JCP track. Are you ready? Affirmative. Headquarters you will need to find and safely deliver. The X agents who've been retrieving intel on the outbreak. Affirmative. You need to find and destroy the four power generators to kill power to the zombie dump trucks. Affirmative. If you find yourself in trouble, look for the garage to repair your JCCP. Good luck, trooper. Here are some tips. Regular attack, side saw blades. Okay, so side saw blades looks like these things. Uh, heavy attack. 
charge up your tarts for a deadly frontal attack. Okay. So. Uh huh. Right, right. Okay. Set. So that was the quote unquote attack. Can I just drive through them or no? I'm not sure why the. Uh... Okay. Oh, we're getting fucked here. <laughs> Uh, like my health just dropped tremendously. Where's the garage? Is this the garage? I need health, bro. Um, uh, so let's try again. So that's the that's the turrets. Yeah, I think I'm gonna try and just pass this mission with the turrets. So just ranged. Cause the the physics of the game, like people don't follow you yet. If you just run away. So let's try again. Yeah, too close. Too far. Okay, that was good enough. Let's try kill this guy. This is gonna take ages, like the way it's going. Destroy generators. Take down the generators, the rear car park power wall to gain access to the zombie dump trucks. Again, this is an alpha, so like don't uh, don't go crazy over it. Like Decentraland is actually ready, right? And you know, it's uh, again, people say it's not a game, whatever. All right, I agree. Uh, it's more of a you know, digital environment, so you can't judge it on the same level like you judge like a triple A title or anything of that sort, but still. But this is still, this is like pretty good again. Like, I, I really can't complain. Uh, can I just drive through him? No, like, this sucks. Can I drive through you? I died. Fuck. So let's try again. Find the garage and health won't be a problem. So like that's... That looks like the... Poof. Garage, garage, garage. Where is the garage? This looks like the map, quote unquote. New objective, church overrun. Can I exit the vehicle? <laughs> uh, inventory, what do we have? So eyes for the inventory. Yeah, I think that's the garage, or that's like the car park. Uh, the generators, still looking for the generators. And there's a lot of zombies, bro. Okay, fuck it, escape, done. So back to main, that's the gameplay, that's the builder, etc. Now let's look at uh, some of the backend stats super quick with regards to the game itself. So, so this is sand at the moment, uh, snooze. So it's a five trading of five dollars and five cents right now. Current market cap is at uh, fifteen mil. I think Decentraland, if I'm not mistaken, is trading at eighty mil at the given moment. We're at a market cap of uh, eighty mil. So if we check Mana at the moment, trading at three dollars with a market cap of eight billion, and holy shit, Sandbox has a bigger market cap than uh, than Decentraland. So that's 15 billion, that, that's not mil, my bad. And the price surged also when Zuckerberg gave his latest speech with regards to the uh, to Facebook transitioning into the metaverse and renaming itself as Meta. So price surge right there as well. Um, the use case of the token, right, is the market primarily. I'm not sure if they're gonna have play to earn elements uh, within the game itself, but the market is the key uh, utility of the token itself. So using sand, right, you're able to buy characters. I think you can use them in the maps that you build and you can also, I think, dress up as them if I'm not mistaken. Um, and as you can see, there's a lot of different NFT collections that are also like trademarked, like the, the, the mouse. Dead Mouse, like Dead Mouse, uh, Snoop Dogg as well, because Snoop Dogg had a uh, partnership with Sandbox. I think he did a concert within S Sandbox itself. Snoop Dogg Private, not sure what this is. Private Party Pass, they're already used, so I don't think they're applicable anymore. Uh, but then again, if you just head over more to the market, you could see a lot more. The secondary element of Sand is the land purchases. So I don't know if there's any land that's still available, all the land is available on a secondary level right now. Um, and as you can see, Binance has their land as well. If we can just find them. Uh, this is Binance's land right here. Then uh, who else? Gemini has their land, right? CoinMarketCap has their land. 
So a lot of uh, a lot of a lot of big players out there have their land on uh, sandbox, and it makes perfect sense because uh, like the, the the this game definitely deserves it, and Binance has a lot of land as we can see. Then who else? Atari has their land. Um, see the fight has their land. A lot of sandbox land as well, so just owned by the game itself. Um, Bitboy has his land. Then who's this? No idea. Cynically, no idea. So a bunch of different like uh, NFC well, well Dave characters, etc. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, key use case of the token. And then just as per size, right? Let's close this. As per the 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 given size of the market, right? Yesterday, a couple of days ago, I basically showcased the Google Trends for Decentraland, right? And Decentraland, everything basically spiked metaverse related ever since Zuckerberg had his latest speech with regards to Facebook transitioning, etc. So Decentraland spiked and Decentraland is currently leading the market with regards to the trend itself and the amount of searches that it received. And then the sandbox spiked as well. But key thing is just to give you a tangible idea of the market right uh, and the the crypto game market right now if you take all of this and you compare it to something like axie infinity uh you'll quickly realize just how small things are like on on, on a bigger scale so i hope it still works with caps if you look at axie infinity worldwide like uh, decentraland is like maybe half of that like on a good day and then the sandbox is like possibly a quarter and Splinterlands is even lower. So there's definitely a lot of potential for growth and these games, Splinterlands excluded because again, Splinterlands is a play to earn cards game. These games are still at a very, very early stage of their growth. So the sandbox, right? Decentraland. And then if we search for metaverse as well, just to give you a, the full idea of the correlation and how things are moving in a pattern, uh, you'll see that when the metaverse spiked, the central line spiked and then the sandbox spiked so it's the it's the blue line here and you could see that they're sort of moving in the same direction and most of the searches this is pretty interesting as well let's remove splinter lines most of the searches for the sandbox are actually coming from russia japan ukraine and then for the metaverse let's remove the central line super quick and then let's remove the metaverse as well just to see where most of the traffic is coming from most of the traffic is also coming from China for the sandbox, which makes perfect sense. Sandbox crypto, sandbox token, etc. And it's really early. So these guys are still in their alpha. Uh, this is their Discord as well. And their latest launch is happening, if I'm not mistaken, on the, as I mentioned, on the 29th, uh, from November 29th, and it's running up until December 20th. Even if you don't get a pass though, uh, you'll still be able to play a couple of additional games that they're adding directly into the game maker itself. And uh, you'll be able to sort of feel the experience, quote unquote. I'm really interested on what's going to happen when they add the online element to it. And as you can see right here, right, uh, for the pre-roll prior to the alpha pass, uh, you had a couple of players interacting with each other, etc. So I definitely feel like there's a, there, there's a lot of potential on this one. And again, just as somebody who's reviewed Decentraland a couple of days ago, and I'll include that video somewhere here, this one is significantly nicer to review and just from the initial 60 minutes on the video itself, you feel really good about it. Like you feel like there's, there's definitely potential. And I wish I was a sand holder, but don't take that as, a, as financial advice. That's just personally my personal opinion. But yeah, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, make sure to check it out. And if you liked the video, make sure to like, subscribe, drop a comment, etc. And I'll catch you guys on the next one.